Hello happy people and welcome to your Moment of Zed, the YouTube channel dedicated to the most beautiful car in the world, the BMW Z3, or as the folks in Christchurch call it, the Z3. I'm Mark and today we're going to tackle a fairly common problem not only in the Z3 but on a lot of cars as they age, the fact that the seat belts and typically the driver's seat belt because it gets the most use doesn't retract easily and i've had that problem with my car and i keep crushing it inside the door because i'm not paying enough attention so i'm going to try and solve that today that could be a few issues the simplest one is the fact that the seat belts just get dirty and that dirt prevents them from retracting quickly or all the way. So we're going to try and tackle that and see if it works. I hope it does. But first, thanks to overwhelming viewer response, we have two Zeds of the week. And this week, both of our Zeds are from the same young man in North Carolina, Rick. What a lucky guy. First off, his titanium silver 2001 three liter five speed with 95,000 miles, which uh, he picked up about a year ago. Actually, his dad did as a project car for a flip, but Rick grew attached to it and he took it over and says it is still a work in progress. He did mention that the three liter engine is a great engine. Next, his 2000 2.3 liter five speed with 56,000 miles in Sienna red. Boy, what a gorgeous color. We just don't see enough of those. He's had this for two years. He's had a few minor issues. He's done the glove box fix, uh, the antenna grommet. He's also put in a new stereo and speakers, spider headlights, and swapped out the stock 16-inch wheels to 17-inch wheels in a staggered 68-style from an E46 330CI. As always, those wheel swaps look great. Boy, BMW makes some nice wheels. Thank you, Rick. If you'd like to be on Zed of the Week, please take a look down in the description. All the details are there. Love to see your car. Let's get on with it. So here's what's been happening with mine, and you can kind of see what'll happen is it'll retract just enough to get stuck in here. I won't be paying enough attention and I'll go ahead and close the door on this. Now it doesn't really cause too much damage, but what it does is it makes these uh, marks in the paint, which I don't really need, don't want it. Uh, so we're gonna try and fix that. So let's start with the assumption that the mechanism is good. And I think mine is. The problem then would be the belt fabric. Over time, dirt, oil, grease, road dust, whatever it is, works its way into the fabric and the fabric gets kind of stiff and that makes it harder to retract. So the simple solution is clean it. A couple different ways you could go. You could clean it with hot soapy water, laundry soap, or dishwashing detergent. I don't really think it makes a difference. Soap is soap to a certain extent. Or you could hit it with a cleaner like Simple Green uh, that way you won't have to wait for it to dry and make sure you don't use anything with bleach, obviously. Don't want to stain or, or, or change the color of the fabric. Or another solution I've seen people use is to simply spray the belt with silicone lubricant. Don't clean it at all. Spray it with silicone lubricant and I've seen people have success with that as well. I know this belt's dirty. I might as well clean it. Hopefully that will fix it. So that's the solution I'm going to go with. I'm going to use dishwashing detergent and hot water and let's work that up see how it goes okay first things first you've noticed i've recruited an entire brigade of towels to protect my interior because i'm going to be setting a, a bucket of hot soapy water on that seat want to protect that leather and then i'm going to go ahead and remove the end of the belt from the floor using the 16 millimeter wrench. So we have the end of our belt off and now we're just gonna go ahead and pull the seat belt out as far as we can. As you can see on mine, I've got some rust stains. So maybe my mechanism isn't perfect, but we're gonna try and clean it and hopefully that's gonna solve the problem. Then we're gonna put any kind of clip just to hold it in place so it doesn't retract while we're working. Uh, you could use a pair of vice grip pliers too, just about any kind of clip a clothespin would work as well. 
Okay, I have my bucket of hot soapy water and this is just standard dishwashing detergent, hand dishwashing detergent like Dawn. Don't use the stuff for the machines because that is full of bleach. I'm gonna go ahead and take the entire belt and I don't love dipping metal in, in water, but I will dry this off very thoroughly. And I'm just gonna dump it in the water, mix it around a little bit. And I sure did make that hot. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it soak for about 15 minutes or so. And I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna scrub it and I'm gonna take a brush and scrub as far as I can. I may clean the end by the seat with some other kind of cleaner that's not wet. Again, just to protect the seat. But for now, we're just gonna leave it like that. All right, so the belt's been soaking for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it out. I actually did that a couple of times off camera where I just kind of worked the soap in and squeezed it out. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a soft brush and just start scrubbing just to get it a little bit extra clean. Probably not necessary, but while we've got it and we've got it wet, might as well go ahead and give it a really good scrub. So I'll do that on both sides and we'll go from there. So with the soap and water, I've cleaned basically almost up to the uh, seatbelt guide. So I just have this last six inches or so to do. Uh, I don't have any simple green, uh, so I'm going to hit it with glass cleaner. I don't think it should be a problem. Uh, I'm just going to be gentle with it and make sure the color doesn't come out. This doesn't have bleach, but it does have ammonia. So we'll see. Off we go. So the glass cleaner seemed to do the trick. Didn't seem to take any of the color out of the uh, seat belt. Uh, doesn't feel like it's damaged it. And it certainly got those uh, rust stains out of it, as you can see. Seems a little bit softer, so we'll let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse the rest of the belt. So I'll, uh, I'll dump that water and uh, put some cold rinse water in there. Go ahead and rinse the belt. Uh, other people who have done this, I've seen they haven't, but I'm just going to go ahead. If we're using soap, we're going to rinse and I'll go with that. And then we'll figure out how we're going to dry it out. Uh, but first, I kind of wanted to show you how filthy the water got. It may be kind of hard to see on camera, but it's it's really a dingy gray. And I know the bucket and the brush were both clean because I cleaned them out before I started. So uh, got a lot of dirt off of there. So I've rinsed and towel dried the belt. Uh, other people say, leave it out in the sun all day and dry the belt. And then the next day you can put it back together and test it out. But this is Florida in August where sunshine can turn to rain literally in a split second. And I'm not gonna be leaving the car outside. So I'm gonna hit this with the old standby, the blow dryer. And then we'll put it back together and see how we did. Before I do that though, uh, another point of holdup can potentially be the D-ring going into the support for the roll hoop. Uh, now, in boring regular cars, you have much better access to the D-ring. In our cars, uh, it's really not gonna be very good access at all. It's, it's at an angle. Uh, in other videos, I've seen people use a piece of fine sandpaper and rub it back and forth on the D-ring to smooth it out and get rid of any dirt. Ugh, I don't even think I can do that here. Plus any dust I make is gonna go down into the mechanism. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. I may try and get a Q-tip in there with some alcohol. That may be something I attempt. Eh, let me give that a shot. So going after the D-ring with Q-tips and rubbing alcohol as best I can. And it's really hard to get that in there. But there is some dirt coming off of it and maybe the belt that contacts it there. But that's, uh, yeah, that's a lot of dirt, but that's about all I can do with it. Uh, Cause again, you don't really have good access to this at all. It moves a little bit, but not too much. So uh, you can kind of see, sorry. You can kind of see that there's a lot of gunk in there. So I'm gonna keep working that as well as I can, just as a, as a finishing touch. That's about the best I can do with it. 
So moment of truth, I've blown it dry, put it back together. Let's see how it works. Seems to be much better. One more time just to be sure. Right up and not in the door jam. By the way, if you've used this method or any others that I discussed or ones I didn't discuss, please put that in the comments. We'd all be interested to know. I'd like to see it myself and see what other people have done with this problem. So folks, there you go. Just a little bit of work and the seatbelt is working much better. Very simple fix. If you found this content valuable, please crush that like button as always. And until next time, remember, friends don't let friends drive boring.